When it comes to buying makeup, how do you know that you're spending your hard-earned money on the actual makeup product or just the name itself? If you're new to my channel, my name is Marlena and I've been a cosmetic brand owner and worked in product development in the beauty industry for almost 14 years. I wanted to share with you all today how to save your money and shop for makeup like a pro, where to spend your hard-earned money on which products and which monies you should save it. you're gonna save your hard-earned money on is mascaras. Now, I have a ton of different ones, you guys. I have tested hundreds and hundreds of mascaras over the years. Name brands, drugstore, high-end, everything in between, lab samples, you name it. These mascaras are almost all made at the same manufacturer. Now, does that mean there can't be some variants in formulas? Sure, but what you're paying for when it comes to mascara is the brand name. When I work with a chemist on a product, they actually straight up told me that it's not really the formula itself that makes a huge difference most of the time. Sometimes it does, but most of the time it's actually the wand that you're getting. What type of wand paired with that formula is what makes the biggest difference. If you want thicker, fuller looking lashes, if yours are really thin, get a bigger wand like this that's a traditional spoolie. If you need something lengthening or even thickening and darkening too, you can get something with a plastic wand like this. We'll do another video later specifically on that. I will teach you all how to find the perfect mascara for your lash type. And unless you're doing something really crazy with the packaging like this MAC one where this is custom. You have the, you know, little silver ball here. This is a custom package that does cost a little bit more money, but most of them are just going to come in tubes with different colors and all of that. You're paying for the name. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me. They're like, well, I love my Dior show. Like, girl, I feel, I feel you. I have my Dior show right here. It's an amazing mascara, but you know which other one is really good and gives me the same effect too? L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is around eight or nine dollars. This one's like in the twenties. I think they're almost $30. If you all want to save some money and use that money towards another product, I would say just go for a drugstore mascara. There's a ton of great options out there. Like I was looking here online, you guys, to find the highest rated mascara. And what I found on Ulta is Maybelline Lash Sensational has over 7,000 reviews and they're almost all five stars. Save your money on the mascaras and splurge on something else. Now, after you've saved your money on mascaras, where you can splurge your money on is your foundations. Now I say to spend your money here because this is actually more complicated to formulate. There's a lot of variants that go into making a foundation versus a mascara. It can oxidize. It can be too thick or cakey. The pump may not work right. It may smell like paint thinner. There's a lot of things that can happen. So getting a great quality one for me is worth the splurge. Some of my favorites, you guys know I love the Chanel Le Beige. It's a great one for every day that's very lightweight if you want something very natural looking. Armani Luminous Silk is a great satin finish one that has medium to buildable cover. I love the Narshier Glow. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's my go-to. I'm on my 12th bottle of it. Has a dewy finish, medium to buildable coverage. Like NARS does foundations really well. Lancome Taunty Doll is a great one. The House Labs. There's so many amazing high-end foundations that are worth the money. The thing with foundations too is when you go to Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom's, you can actually get a sample of it. You can get swatched. You can try it out. Whereas when you're going to a drugstore, CVS, Target, Walmart, you can't actually try the foundation. So you may be spending say 12, 15, 18 dollars on this versus like 48 for this one, but you're going to end up, if you can't return it or forget, you're going to throw that money away if that color doesn't match anyway. So you might as well spend a little bit more, get it color matched, know that it's going to work for you, get to try it out. I feel like the color selection with higher end brands is so much better than drugstore. Now, are there some okay drugstore ones? Of course, like I love the Milani Conceal and Perfect one. I think that's good. I'm not saying that there aren't any good drugstore ones, but in general, I find that the higher end and foundations work better. They look more natural. You can find a color that matches you. You have a lot more options and you can actually try it on in person before spending your hard-earned money on it. The next category that you're going to save your hard-earned money on are your eye and lip pencils. I am telling you all from my experience in actually developing eyeliners, working with the manufacturers, these are all made at the same exact place. If you look on every pencil, your drugstore one, your high-end one, it's going to say made in Germany. It is the exact same manufacturer.
manufacturer. You are paying for the name. There's no way you can do different packaging. You guys, it's a pencil with a cap. That's it. The only time I would say to spend a bit more money and get a high-end one, because I do have some Urban Decay ones. I do love the formula. I think they're amazing. If you have a specific color that a drugstore doesn't have, like drugstore usually has black, brown, purple, navy, maybe a nude if you're lucky, and that's it. Urban Decay has like 20, 30 colors. I think Marc Jacobs had a bunch of colors. So if you're looking for a specific color, then obviously higher end ones are going to have that. But if you just need a black or brown, save your money. Another drugstore one that gets a lot of great reviews that I looked up is the NYX suede mats. Those are highly reviewed and they're $4. $4, you all. So definitely save your money here. Use that money. Like I said, go get you a really nice foundation, but save your money on your pencils because you're just paying for the name. Next category that you're going to save your money on is lipsticks. Now, Drugstore has come a long way with their lipsticks. There are some amazing formulas in the lipsticks at your drugstore. Like some of the ones I have, um, this isn't technically drugstore, but the Ulta ones, I think these are like $8 or something. They're really inexpensive. I like that one. L'Oreal has some great ones. Milani, these ones, you guys, and this little packaging here, like how cute are those? I have several drugstore lipsticks in my collection. A lot of these are made at the similar factories as well. You definitely are paying for the name, but also the packaging. So if packaging is really important to you, you want to feel a little bit of luxury. You want something very pretty that you're going to wear every day to pull out of your purse and it makes you feel good, then by all means, buy that. Don't feel like you have to get a drugstore one. Like, I have a YSL one. Like, look how pretty that packaging is. I mean, that's custom. Like, this was expensive to do right here. So this is definitely worth the money because I know that packaging was not cheap to create. But if you just need a great formula, there's so many options from the drugstore that will be exactly the same or very comparable to high end. And I will say this, you all, when you're looking at lipsticks, my favorite places that make really good lipsticks are Italy. So if it says made in Italy, I can guarantee that it's going to probably be a really nice formula. Also, the USA has some great lipsticks as well. So just check out honestly where it's made, you all. I mean, I'm not trying to get into that conversation for this video, but that says a lot too for the different types of quality that you're going to make. Just because those labs specialize in those things, if you get one from one of those two countries, there's a higher chance it's going to be a very luxurious, smooth, creamy formula. The next category that you're going to spend money on is your highlighters. Now, technically from a development, product development standpoint, most eyeshadows are just a really big eyeshadow with a lot of shimmer put in there. Most of them. This MAC one, this is a baked one. It's a little bit different process, but it's technically a really large eyeshadow. So it's not something overly complicated. It just is a very shimmery shadow in a really large pan. I would say splurge on these mainly because the drugstore versions, they don't have a lot of color options and they tend to be a little little bit chalky or really glittery where it looks like you swiped glitter all across your face versus giving you that beautiful glow. I feel like higher end brands just have come a little bit further in the textures they provide and the, the color selection. So when I go to the drugstore, me having fair skin, I can find something easily, but someone who may have deeper skin isn't going to find a highlighter that works for their skin. And honestly, that makes me angry and sad at the same time because it's 2023. Come on now. So until they can learn to get caught up and get a better color selection for one and get that formula to where they're not putting actual glitter chunks in there and it's like a very smooth balance between the shimmer and an actual pigmentation, then I feel like it's worth spending a bit more money on the high-end ones. And then also outside of powder, I feel like higher-end brands have great cream ones. I think I just heard e.l.f. came out with a dupe for this. I haven't tried it yet, so I I'm going to check that out and let you guys know, but I know like Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've used this for years. I really love it. It's what I'm wearing today to give me a soft glow. The only one that was fairly affordable that I think is worth checking out is the color pop ones, the, the cheek ones. I like those a lot. But other than that, in the drugstore, I haven't found really great highlighters that work for all skin tones. So I would say in this category, it could be either way. But for me personally, I tend to go towards the splurge because I have better options in the higher end brands. And then this category could go splurge or save depending on what you're looking for, what your preference is. And that is eyeshadows. Now for me personally, I'm going to spend as I'm getting older, a little bit more money on quality quality eyeshadows that I know I'm going to wear all the time. I'm going to get my money's worth out of them because I'm at a point in my life where I'm going more for quality versus quantity. But for those who want to have a lot of fun, a lot of options, tons of different colors, they're going to switch it up on a day-to-day -day basis. I would say maybe not get the high-end ones because you'll go broke trying to get all of these different palettes versus getting some affordable ones. Now, I will say this, it's controversial and people don't like to hear this. this is a whole nother video for another topic, but I will say that I personally avoid a lot of of inexpensive eyeshadow palettes because of where and how they are made. I know too much about manufacturing to know that a lot of the 
the places that are making inexpensive eyeshadow palettes are in factories where either labor is not fairly paid out, which that bothers me from an ethical standpoint, but also the cleanliness, the quality of ingredients that they're using. If they have talc in them, is it going to be laced with asbestos because they're using a low grade talc that's not mined properly? There's a lot of things that go into things like that. So I have avoided buying inexpensive and by inexpensive, I mean super cheap eyeshadow palettes that I used to buy years ago because I know more now as not just a consumer, but as a product developer and brand owner. If you want to save money and you want to get some inexpensive ones, the one brand I can consistently say would be a good quality to get would be ColourPop because it's made in the US. I've been to their factory. It's clean. Their staff are in amazing working conditions. They don't play when it comes to safety standards. So for this brand, I highly recommend them if you're looking for affordable options. If you want some luxurious ones that are maybe a little bit more buttery, smoother, more pigmented, something that blends really easily. My personal favorite formula is outside of the Makeup Geek ones, <laughs> but I really like the Huda Beauty palettes. I think her formula is amazing. Everyone has preferences. This is just my preference when it comes down to it. These ones in particular made in Italy. I know the manufacturer that does them. It's it's legit. They do a great job. It's clean. Viseart is a professional brand. They have some great shadows. They're really pigmented. They blend really well. And then my other favorite is Natasha Denona. The the mid size palettes, her big ones, I don't like at all. I don't know if that's made at a different facility or if it's a different formula, but those to me are a little bit chalky. They don't stick to the skin a little bit better, but these mid size ones that she's been coming out with, I really enjoy these a lot. So those are my personal favorites. I always say this and I, and I know this, you know, people don't enjoy hearing this, but this is the truth. If it is too cheap to be true, then it probably is. Like you get, you know, 50 shadows for $20. Chances are it really does not have ingredients ingredients or is not made well that's going to be good for your skin long term. Get a palette that you know you're going to use a lot. Get your money's worth out of it. Use it every day. Everyone needs a great staple neutral palette. To me that's worth the investment because I know I'm going to get my money's worth out of it. I'm going to use it for a good couple years or so. So that's my advice on splurge or save where to spend or save your money. If you guys like this series let me know. I'll do some more of these type of videos but come back next week for another makeup education, makeup tutorial. We do a lot on this channel that's really fun. So come back and check that out and don't forget to hit the subscribe buttons. Have a great week you all and I will talk to you soon. Bye.